Well, what's up, dude? What's Hi, your Max. name? Um, you're very big in London, by the way. Everyone loves you in London. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Yeah, sure. Tell London I said. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Thank you. Um, as... Not in a revolutionary war way. <laughs> <laughs> Tell London I said. Yeah, right. I will. Um, as uh, what's lot, your name? Uh, my name's Toby. Hi, Toby. Uh, I'm Max. A lot of um, upcoming screenwriters uh, sometimes get a lot of writer's block sometimes, and we can't think of any ideas or inspiration. For you personally, um, how do you get your ideas? I'm an outlier. I have multiple ideas for movies a day. Uh, using me as an example and trying to give people advice about this has always been hard for me because I don't understand what it would be like not to have ideas. But I can tell you something that's really easy. Uh, have you ever have you ever seen my video "Flip the Premise"? I haven't no. Okay, you should. Max Landis "Flip the Premise" is a way you can always have an idea. Uh, you just take a movie and you flip it. So, like, this guy uh, is a police officer, and at a very young age, uh, there's a mob war, and he's a police detective, and his or he's an officer then, but his two children are kidnapped. They're taken away from him. Years and years down the line, there's this giant fucking crime syndicate, and he finds out, by hook and by crook, his mentor, who's not his father, but his mentor within the police station, goes, hey man, we're trying to crack down on crime in the city, but I have bad news. I think your son is being brought into this. Do you remember that guy who was a police officer who was crooked and then escaped the law? Your partner? I think he's like training your son as like a killer. And our guy's like, what the fuck do I do? And his, and his you know, mentor is like, you have to try to bring him in. This dude's wife died during childbirth. Everything for him sucks. And now he has to confront the fact that he's hunting his own son and his own daughter is somewhere out there too, who are being taught to be nightmare criminals by the worst people alive. Not just Star Wars backwards, but it's its own movie. It's its own movie. You make Darth Vader a cop, suddenly you just change five things, and you have all of these new emotional dynamics. And you can just do Star Wars. It ends with a shootout between him and the guy, but the kids get away. And he ends up getting shot by their, like, douchebag friend. And the end of the movie is, what did I learn? What makes you a person? Is it who raises you or what's inside of you? Was this guy, Obi-Wan Kenobi, evil Obi-Wan Kenobi, ultimately a better father than I was? Who am I? Darth Vader spinning off into space in his dumb, fat TIE fighter. <laughs> but you rejigger it, and suddenly it's a fucking Martin Scorsese ending. And, like, the, you, you, have, you have the coolest thing ever. An imagination. There's never an excuse not to have an idea. That's just how I feel, Toby. I, I don't know if that answers your question. It does, no, it does. That's great. Thank you very much. No problem, man. Works for London also. Yeah, thank you, London. Thank you, London! <laughs> <laughs>